Hello nerds, welcome to the Post Credit Show. I'm your host Lucian, I got my boy Lockie. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. We are live and in living colour on YouTube. It is 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning and we have just watched 2024's King and Queen of the Ring live from Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. And this is our review episode. Bro. Lots going on here. Holy crap. There was a fair bit, mate. There's lots to uh, lots to discuss, lot, a lot to digest. But yes. a few things we weren't happy with, so we'll cover that later on in the show. But there are a few things that I thought, what the yeah. hell went on there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So who started us off? We had the okay. So we had the women's tag team title match That's in the right. pre-show. Yes. Now before we get to that. Um, there was a QR code, another QR code on this episode. Very strange, this one. A very strange one. I love this game. Hello? Hello? We all thought that this was going to be the one where we saw the the uh, Uncle Howdy and the Wyatt family return. Yeah. Sadly, this is not the one. Well, and and yeah. I've got to say, I'm kind of getting bored of this QR code stuff yeah. now. It's been nine weeks. We were talking briefly before the event started about the build-up for this. Like, yeah. and, and the the last message that we got had the this today. This date. This date. So we're seeing – and we're sitting there waiting. We're watching all the matches going, okay, is it coming? Is it coming? It, yeah, it was quite disappointing. Who's who's Uncle Howdy coming after? We still don't know. Now, no. what we do know, what we do know is that this new QR code that came out during the pre-show, mm. um, there was a video of a guy playing WWE 2K24. Yes, and he said, "I really like this game," and he had a really thick Irish accent. I don't know, man. Like, are they going after Could one of on. the Irish, like like Finn Balor, maybe, or JD oh. McDonough? Like, yeah, but yeah. That makes no sense. Why would they have such a big build up for them to go for after that. someone like yeah. JD McDonough? You really think you'd be going after like a, a Seth Rollins or or, or a Cody or, or a Cody or Rhodes Logan or, or you know someone that's an absolute you know icon currently in this business? Not not you know putting anyone down, but these other characters you just mentioned, they're not. They're not really up there. No, it's, not it's, yet. It's not, not yet. the it's not the level of of feud that we want to see no. Uncle Howdy return, unless mm. unless and hear me out on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the Wyatt family returning. Yeah. So yeah. unless we're headed towards the Riot family versus the Judgment Day. Ooh, that could be. Those two Irish lads are members of the Judgment Day. You could be onto something. Who knows? Yeah. We don't know. But sadly, no Uncle Howdy, no Wyatt Six, and now we're all a little bit confused. And to be honest with you, the feeling online right now is we're kind of f***ed off. Yeah, we were expecting something. Didn't happen. So when? That's the question. But let's talk about what did happen. Yeah. To start yeah. with, uh, Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair retaining their world yeah. uh, women's titles. Great match. Um, really great match. Sad to see uh, Jade Jade perform uh, a kip-up or at least attempt to perform a kip-up. <laughs> oh, that was, um, that was and awesome. And completely flubbed that. <laughs> uh, but i got to say, man, that final move, that tag move, that, that teamwork yeah, move, yeah. That, that was banging. Very well choreographed. Oh, very well rehearsed. Like, that was on point. Yeah. That looked like a done some damage too like it looked like it would have hurt yeah because like, you had sure. jade perform her move and then she kind of well, she, um she bounced flipped, yeah bounced, flipped her back up and then yep. bianca did her thing and then bianca's in for the pit like yeah it was it was a it was a good good ending and well deserved win too because that was you know the they looked the more dominant of the of the i can honestly say i think the only people that i can see beating jade and bianca yeah are each other fair share 
Fair share. Yeah. Like, I, I actually think that we're going to be heading towards, and they, they did kind of tease that we might be heading towards that throughout the Queen of the Ring tournament, yeah, where yeah, both yeah. Jade and Bianca were heading towards the finals. And then, weirdly enough, they didn't get there. So, I'm, mm. I, I think WWE is teasing that we're going towards that. I'm yep. picking my tip is by SummerSlam, we're going to see Jade versus Bianca. SummerSlam is June 15 as no, well. Uh, SummerSlam is August. June oh, 15. August. June, we've got Clash of the Castle. Clash of the Castle. That's Which right. today was announced by Triple H during the broadcast yeah. that we're going to have uh, Damian Priest defending the Drew. World Heavyweight title against Drew McIntyre. In Scotland. Massive. In Scotland. Massive. But rumour swirling that CM mm -hmm. Punk has also now been cleared. So, so yeah, I wonder if there is going to be some sort of a thing there. Oh. I, don't, I hope there is. That story between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, I'm so invested yeah. in it. Yep. They've built it up so brilliantly. I think CM Punk's 100% on the plane. Absolutely. 100% on the Absolutely. plane. There'll be something there to do. Um, after the women's uh, tag team match, we had the... Liv Morgan versus Becky Lynch. That was... Oh, an, my God. What an ending. Now, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, well, it sucks to be you. Uh, <laughs> Liv Morgan pinning and winning the women's title from Becky Lynch. Mm. Nobody saw that coming. We no one picked we that. We certainly didn't. We were riding Becky the whole time saying there's no way she's going to lose this. And then um, Dominic Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio dirty comes Dirty Dom out. did dirty, a dumb. Dirty. <laughs> did a big dumb. <laughs> dirty Dom did a dumb. But just this, the, the way that the um, the way that, that ended was mate, shock horror. It was really good to see, though, because, as you said, did not expect it. Now, okay, Dirty Dom, Liv Morgan, there's been innuendo and suggestion yep. that Dom is cheating on his on-screen girlfriend, Mommy, Mommy. Miss Rhea Ripley, yeah. um, with potentially Liv Morgan, who actually injured Rhea and is the reason why Rhea had to yeah, get the title. that's right. Now, I don't know about you, but I get what they were trying to do with Dirty Dom yeah. coming in and doing what he did, but it kind of looked to me like he did that knowing that, like... Yeah. I think it was 100% intentional. I think yeah. Dirty Dom with the assist was was exactly what Dirty Dom was trying to do. Yeah, 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 I um, think so. I, I think we're in for a bit of a Rhea Ripley returns and beats the shit out of both of them. Yeah, there's got to be something. There's yeah, got to be something with the three. Yeah. But I, I just want to highlight the the women's wrestling now. I mean, we, were, we spoke about this as well. Mm. The, the level and the ability of these women – is incredible. It's it like is the, amazing. Some of the athleticism that was going on between that match was seriously, it was, I've never seen it before. Yeah. They've really, they've, they're just killing it in their craft now and it's so good to see that women are finally <laughs> also getting the recognition in the sport. There ain't no more bikini matches no. or mud wrestling matches. No, that's, or, that's, what, that's what we or, had, didn't like, we? That was, that was, the, that was the late <laughs> 80s, the 90s, even yep. some of the early 2000s. That's what women's wrestling was. Yep. Nah. It was to satisfy the, the, the carnal desires of the men watching. Yep. Now the women are coming out and absolutely owning it. Owning it, owning it. And i got to say, moving on from that, we end up with um, going out of order here, but yeah, yeah. Nia Jax beating <sighs> uh, Lyra Valkyra. Yeah, you could see it coming. Um, the, Mate, the size difference, it was a mixed matchup. It's about time we put some goddamn respect on Nia Jax's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Nia Jax was released a couple of years ago by WWE. Yes. Uh, she had some injury issues. She took a while off. She's come back. And I've got to say, this is not the Nia Jax of old. The Nia Jax of old was botch mania all over the place. Yeah, she yeah. Couldn't, she couldn't have a match without actually legitimately injuring someone. Yeah, okay. She hasn't done that this go around, and she's actually dominating. She looks and good. And that ending... Her finishing move. That ending looked <laughs> vicious. It looked like it hurt. <laughs> it looked like it legitimately would have hurt. But, I mean, that's the point. Of like, course. It's supposed to. Of course. It's not supposed to look fake. I Look, I'm a big fan of Nia Jax. I have been a big fan of yeah, Nia yeah. Jax since all the way back when um, th they were doing those, those documentaries on these new guys that were coming up. And they did one on Nia Jax. And she yep. was talking about her personal struggles and it was Nia Jax the person not Nia Jax the wrestler yeah and 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 some of the stuff that she's been through in her life and the way she's battled through that to become who she is today mm. man I'm all in on Nia Jax I think her being queen of the ring is an absolute banger of a choice yeah now people are already saying online oh nothing will come of it because Zelina Vega when she won it nothing happened there yeah look agreed nothing happened with Zelina Vega yeah but that was two years ago it was years ago and 
with Nia Jax winning it, Nia Jax is already a monster heel in WWE, mm-hmm. and now mm-hmm. they've given her more heat. I, mm-hmm. I just get the feeling that something is going to happen with, it, yeah. with this king. Like yeah. I feel like this king and queen of the ring – Put some prestige back in those titles. Yeah, I agree. Um, she's going to get a lot of spotlight now moving forward and a lot more screen time as well now that she's been crowned. So, uh, it's, How it's a banging pos- of those crowns, though? Oh, yeah, wouldn't mind one. Well, yeah. we've, we've, we've got, got our got, own little crowns here, ladies Game and gentlemen. Game of Thrones or something here. <laughs> King Joffrey's Queen. Sorry, uh, Queen Joffrey's Queen. That's what? why I gave it to you. You're my queen of oh, the <laughs> oh god so uh we had a, another match um, Sami Zayn, bronson and, reed and uh what was who was the other chad guy? gable that's right. sorry i nearly said kurt angle kurt angle <laughs> looks like kurt angle looks like kurt angle wrestles like kurt, like uh, honestly gable is a beast he what about when he did that um that triple that suplex. triple suplex 550 pounds that so he you lifted. had so you had bronson reed yeah. holding on to Sami Zayn from behind yeah. and then chad gable holding on to bronson reed and chad yeah. suplexes yeah. Oh. both of them like what do we call it? the human what? centipede the, the human <laughs> suplex the human super <laughs> <laughs> but seriously 550 pounds over your own head like Mate, that guy's got to be pound for pound. Probably the, the fact the that his strongest head didn't man. pop like a pimple. Oh, seriously, <laughs> how's those ears though? The old cauliflowers. You can tell he's <laughs> you can tell he's been in the game for a while. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, but that was a great match. Sami Zayn uh, was a very he's a crowd favorite over there. I didn't actually know that he had that background that of being that same, Middle yeah, Eastern yeah. background. But mate, every time he every time he got up, mate, that crowd was pumping, man. Now I got to say, the one thing that is starting to irk me a little bit, yeah, is WWE's handling of Bronson Reed. So. Yeah, he's one of our own, so we're going to get a bit defensive here. So you know what a jobber is. So jobber is yeah. the guy who they always send in to lose. Like yeah. he's the beast, but somehow you always tend yeah. to lose to put he's, someone else over. Correct. Bronson Reed has become a jobber. Yeah, a I mid-card agree. jobber. Yep. And man, like he was the North American champion in NXT. Yeah. He hasn't even been close to the gold on the main roster yet. He's got the skill set and he's got the athleticism, as we saw when he went off the top rope. Yeah, Mate, man. he's he's. He's got some moves and he looks the goods. So I think, it, I mean, maybe we could see him getting a better storyline over the next six months, possibly. I hope so. He's proven I hope that he's so. good. I actually, I actually want to see Sami Zayn drop the IC title. I was never a fan of Sami Zayn winning it. I, yeah. I don't think Sami needed to be the person who broke Gunter's 666 day record. Yeah. It shouldn't have been Sami. It should have been Chad. It would have put Chad yeah. over in a way yeah. that hasn't been able to yet. I've got a feeling about Chad. I reckon he's going to explode. Uh, well, I, yeah. I, I see I, – I, this was one of the – because he hasn't been in a main event for 14 months, I think they yeah, said. Yeah, But seeing him tonight, just he's the way – He's so good. He's, he's good. He's so good. He's uh, He looks like a potato, but he's <laughs> – very, very good at what he does. I thought he looked like a cauliflower. That's what do I say. <laughs> potato. A ca- a potato with cauliflower is. <laughs> but no, he's on the up, and I think we'll be seeing him in a lot more made events over the next 12, 18 months. I'm a fan. I love yeah. it. And I think the heel turn is great. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I'm I'm really intrigued. Um, so we, we saw a moment during uh, King Queen of the Ring where mm-hmm. Otis – uh, kind of struggled with Chad's telling him to you know, hit Sammy, hit Sammy. Yeah, he's like, wake up to yourself, want to, doesn't give him want to, a and slap. Then, and then, yeah, he gives him a slap, uh, giving him the uh, Nathan Brown from the St. Yeah. George Illawarra Dragons yeah. treatment. If you watch <laughs> NRL in Australia, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Trent Barrett, mate. Um, look, Trent it. deserved it back then oh, and now. Um, says he deserves another one now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for taking over the the, the eels, the eels yeah. um, but like, and then to to see Otis kind of go for was he going for Sammy well, or you don't, no, did mate, Sammy duck and uh, like I the script will say that he ducks, but there was a bit of a smile there after he did hit the Chad. I <laughs> don't necessarily look. I, I want to see. I want to see that stable break up. I do want to see the Alpha Academy break up. I want yeah. Chad to go it alone, and I want him to win that IC title alone. Yeah, but I don't want to see him moving on from Sammy, focusing on a feud just with Otis. Now, I don't want to see that. No, no one wants to see that. They got to broaden it. It needs to be yeah. Chad and Sammy one on one for the IC title. Yeah, a winner. Like, no, mate, in, yeah, give no me in- an Iron Man match. Oh. Give me an Iron Man match between those yeah, two. Man. I will watch 60 minutes of those two wrestling. That is a banger waiting yeah. to happen. Money on the Triple pay. H, yeah. Iron Man match. Chad versus Sami Zayn. Yeah. SummerSlam. Make it happen. Done. Lock it in. Then we had the King of the oh, Ring. The 
The oh, Viper. My the man. potential, the potential King Cobra. My oh, oh. versus that's... the potential King Genital. Nah, I like King Cobra, but that didn't <laughs> eventuate as we saw. Our new King of the Ring for yeah. 2024 is the King General Gunther. Gunther. Now, mm. Gunther is a monster. He is very, very good. I think Gunther is, pound for pound, the best wrestler in the world today. Yeah, he's he is a genuine, he's a wrestler. He's I don't think yep. he's an entertainer. I think he's an actual wrestler. But like. I don't think he needs to be. He, he has such a self-entitled character, oh, but yeah. that in and of itself His presence, is yeah. all the entertainment that I need. I get I, it. I, he, he needs the gold. He yeah. needs to win that gold. Yeah. Um, I... I would be okay with him dethroning Cody Rhodes at this point. Well, we, you don't know where this is going to go. So well, we could, do that know could... that because he's one king of the ring, he now but faces when, Cody when Rhodes though? at SummerSlam. When? At I, SummerSlam in August. Is that year. what they're going to do it then? That's, what, that's what's happening. Oh, sorry about that. I was, so I was I'm, under the impression I'm, it was going to be something else. I'm totally okay with him beating Cody. Oh, I want Cody to win. I love Cody. But, yeah, Randy Orton, vintage Orton. It was good to see him back in the main, you know, in the main limelight. Yeah, um I'm a massive Randy fan. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. RKO, RKO has got to be the best finishing move ever. We got to see it twice, uh, but the knee injury, he yeah. just couldn't get over it. Lost the strength. Yeah. But the welts from the from oh, the what are they, from, what the are they, from the chops, oh. mate. He had these purple welts all on his pecs. And I want to know. Hell, I want to know. Yeah. Do the wrestlers who are facing Gunter? Yeah. Do they have to be sat down and told, okay? Are you sure you're okay with We're this? About to because slap this the- is going to hurt. <laughs> We're about to slap the shit out of you for a solid 20 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, his chest was red after five minutes, and it, went, mm. and it was welting purple. Pur- purple. Um, oh. Yeah, definitely a uh, ice bath for the for It the big, sounded for the like gunshots. Some of them were monsters. It sounded like it like echoed a- through the arena. It sounded like gunshots yeah. going off. Yeah. Gunther is a monster, and I can honestly see him. I could act, you know what? I'm going to call this. I can see him holding the world's heavyweight title or the WWE title, sorry, for a very long time. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, when I, comes I'm, up I'm not going to say it's going to be the 1300 plus day reign that, that Roman Reigns had. Yeah, I don't think we'll see that again, personally. But I can see it being a long time. Decent stretch. Um, quick question, though. Yes. Within this match, the ending. Those shoulders weren't both pinned, my friend. Jeez. You have a look at that. Hang on, he was facing. I'm going to say the right. It was his left shoulder. It was his left was, shoulder. Oh. That was like, mate, that was six inches off the ground. That was like proper hashtag botched. Oh, out. my Lord. That ending was, I, yeah, very disappointing in that yeah. ending. Um, yeah. Especially when you, you as, um, as we're recording this, guys, if you haven't seen it and you do, keep an eye out for the ending of the match. You'll see Randy's left shoulder, mate. It's about that high off the ground. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. I don't know whether or not Gunter was trying to get Randy into position. Yeah, and Randy was just off center. Well, he or... was twisted up a bit. You could see he was like kind of or, all over. Look, I mean, maybe, maybe it's a part of storyline. WWE's done this before, where someone's botched an ending, and then they on review purpose, it, and they review it, and they review it, and they either have a rematch, rematch. Oh. or they go down the path of you know before you get to SummerSlam to face Cody, you have to beat Randy clean. See that would I don't know. I want I, I just want them. I, want I would Randy. love to see them fight again. I want Randy back in there. I want him at the top again. I'd love to see them fight again. Well, see, here's the other thing. Here's mm. the other thing. Everyone wants to see Randy versus Cody at some point because mm-hmm. there is history there. There, there is, is a long history yeah. between the two of them. For Fourteen years, I think it's. Oh, I don't know whether or not we're heading towards Gunther versus Randy versus mm. Cody. See, this is a the triple th- threat. See, this is the thing about the current uh, about WWE currently as well is the storytelling has really stepped up a notch since oh. Triple since Triple H really did get his hands on it. Yep. Yep. Like, look at us now. We're sitting here. We're guessing. We don't know where it's gone. But ten yep. years ago, it was so predictable. You're like, yep. oh, this is. You knew where it was going. But now, edgy seat stuff, and it's really good to have that back it, it's it's like we're back in the 90s man yeah. it's unreal yeah yeah um so yeah that, and the final match yeah, the final the final match i got four words for you eh? i'm cody rhodes <laughs> how good was that <laughs> oh my what lord a match crossroads baby three crossroads yeah. to finally finally pin 
Yeah. The Maverick Logan there, Paul. There was some serious anger towards <sighs> Michael Cole. And I Logan have not Paul. seen. I have not seen nah. for years. Nah. I have not seen a commentator yeah. get involved in a match yeah, the man. way Michael Cole did, and it was perfect. He was because there up. were so many different things going on there, right? Yeah. So obviously, now we've got the storyline where every match that Logan Paul has had, he's used the brass nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So pre-match, Logan Paul is sitting down for an interview yep. with with Michael Cole. And with Cody Rhodes, and he says, I don't need the knucks. Here, Cole, you have the knucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and Cole actually used a phrase that I thought was so fantastic. Mm. What is he doing? He signed a pre knuck <laughs> I didn't pick that up. <laughs> All right. What the hell? That's rubbish. It's so cheesy. That's cringe, but it's man. It's so Michael Cole. It was oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yep. And then, and then, like, when he's yelling this, he's yelling towards Logan Paul. And Logan kind of catches his eye and starts walking towards him. And Cole stands up and goes, you're a loser. Yeah. And 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 Logan's like, what did you call me? And he goes around the table. Yeah. And then the rumored to be recently cleared to wrestle Corey Graves yeah, steps between them. Right up in his face. I thought What that, is going on here? I thought that could have kicked off. I think it will. Yeah, man. I think it will. I I like I'm I'm here if 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 and like, I want to see Logan Paul and Corey Graves get into it with Michael Cole as a uh, special guest special referee. Special guest referee let's or something. Go. Yeah, let's get that going. Oh, that would be unreal. It was such a good match. And yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm so sorry that I'm, I'm going to have to beep this word out. <laughs> Dave Meltzer, that was a five star match. Oh, 100 percent. That was that was right up there. Oh, the genuine, like oh, I just. We all hate. I don't know about you. I can't stand him. I can't stand Logan Paul. Nah. The per, like, I, sorry, I can't stand the character he's playing. To be honest with you, I never really followed him pre I, WWE. I didn't I'd even always know known who he, who he was. Yeah. I knew he's the guy. He, I knew he's the wanker who came out with the Charizard card on a chain when he was yeah, boxing. Yeah, but he's he's up there. There's just something natural about what he's it's doing. Just, it's just it's so effortless the way he maneuvers around the ring. And those leaps it's off crazy. the top, those leaps off the top turnbuckle, mate. The height, oh. the height that he gets, the frog splash that like, he did, mate. He's a he's a gifted, he's a very gifted individual, gifted athlete. Um, I would, I think, I think it's time for him now to make a decision though on what he wants to do. Does he want? Well, he's already said that he wants to be a full time. So there, superstar. so there you go. Here's the thing, and I'm going to say this, right? Yep. If he goes full time and wrestles every week people will lose interest like that. And this is the thing, right? When you think about Roman Reigns, right now, people are chanting, we want Roman. Now, they didn't do that during this event. No, But no. every event since WrestleMania, from France back to the United States, everywhere they've been, we want Roman. And at one point, Paul Heyman was in the ring and he turned around to the audience and said, believe me, more than you know, I also want Roman Reigns back. Yeah, like the crowd is so they're missing that monster heel that WWE developed in Roman. Yeah. And that's the one thing that's missing right now and I think that's the reason why there's what? a degree of the fan base yeah. that's kind of turning on Cody a little bit already. You reckon? They are. They're definitely turning on him and I think the reason why is because faces are always better when they're chasing the title. True. Heels are always better as the when champion they're in, when they're in control. Yes. Yeah, because the smugness comes yep. with it, and all and all the rest. Yeah, fair call. And I think that the thing that WWE did. Now we hated it when it was happening, mm. but we didn't know what we had with Roman Reigns because yeah. now that he's gone and he's not the champion, and we're seeing that title being defended more frequently. Yeah. And we're seeing the person who holds that title more frequently. Yep. Yep. It's kind of lost its aura a little bit. It's lost its shine yeah, a little bit. I get it. I get it. And I think that's the same thing with Logan Paul. Yeah, fair if comment. you see him more, the the specialness, the, yeah, the aura, it, yeah. the 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 prime time eventness of Logan Paul will lose some of its glow. Possibly. Well, so we'll, we'll see. We'll I don't see. want to see him wrestle on Raw or SmackDown. No, I want him to be an attraction. Event. Yeah, and with cameo appearances here and there to build up his matches. And Absolutely. Whatnot. Yeah, fair. Call. Absolutely. Um, all right, well, but mate, there's that's, a lot coming on. So, all right, look, um, 
if I had to rate that pay-per-view out of 10, I would say there are a couple of botches there. There was one match that I was like one result that completely blew my mind. And yeah. that was the, the Liv Morgan winning the yeah. title. Congratulations to her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can't wait to see what happens when mommy comes back. Yeah. Big mama. Uh, hurry up, mommy. We miss you. Honey. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, that was probably a seven and a half out of 10. I'd go seven. Yeah. There was a little bit of, there was too much disappointment for me, but it was, it was still enough. Yeah. It was still worthy of a main event um, spot or a main, PLA. a main event. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the QR code really didn't do anything for me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just a few of the matches, the Randy Orton match, I... <sighs> See, this is the thing, though, man. It, it was a freaking good match. It was. I just love it. You're Rand. just salty because oh, your boy didn't because win. He didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> He's the goat for me. He's the goat. He is the goat. Yeah. He is the goat. But hey, looking forward to June. We've got the Clash, uh, of the Clash of the Castle. So we'll be doing another one for that. I love that. I can't um, wait. And then we've got SummerSlam. Yeah, we've got uh, SummerSlam in got, August. We've got, we've got something else in, in July. I think I there's something in July is, yeah. 5th or something. I can't something remember. Something like that. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. Maybe, maybe, wait, maybe we can um, hopefully not have to wake up at 1.30 to, uh, <laughs> to watch this. <laughs> well, they did also announce Crown Jewels going back over to uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in uh, later in the later in the year as yeah, well. Yeah. So that's going to another be, that's gonna be another 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, got, oh. But you know what? We are here for you, ladies and gentlemen. For you. So you make sure you like for Follow and subscribe because we did this for you. That's right. What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. And ladies and gentlemen, I've been Loosh. That's been Lockie. This has been King and Queen of the Ring. Say hi to your mum for me. Bye-bye. <laughs>